So, Mazal Tov to the community here in Abusha in Tanzania, the Kehilat Teimanim, Al Shem Shalom Shabazi, and the Chanukat, Mikva, having a brand new Mikva over here, the first Mikva. Um, the first mikvah made over here. We are, we're very, very excited about this. this. So this is a milestone for a community. You know, you have a bet knesset, you have a bebidash, you have a mikvah. A mikvah gives you a the option of living a religious life. Gives you an option of observing a, in the proper way. Up until now. The community has been using the the river uh, as a as a way of uh, going to mikvah, but now Baruch Hashem we have a kosher mikvah. We have over here the makar. The makar is where the rainwater is going to be coming in from. It is collected here from the gutters. It fills up. This mikvah is called a mikvah hashaka, which means it comes in. Down here, there's a hole, and it is connected over here. It is a mehudal, beautiful mikvah, and may you guys use it for many long and healthy years. Amen. 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 Uh, first, thank you, everybody who participated. Baruch Hashem, I would like to say that first of all, I started dreaming to build the mikvah after the government restriction of so many rivers. And uh, me and my wife started uh, putting some safe for quite some time. And uh, then when the time comes, we had a separate money that was not uh, for the, was not for the, the saving. And we were to start to construct the construction. So the first person to talk about uh, the construction of the mikvah was uh, Dr. Ari. And uh, Dr. Ari told me I know nothing about it. So uh, uh, he said, talk to uh, Brimban, which I also talked to. And um, he sent me a blueprint and then uh, I know I know nothing about it in the, that, that blueprint because I never constructed a mikvah before. So I talked to our rabbi, he's the African rabbi, Rabbi Nathaniel, and I sent the blueprint. And from that day onward, he started from uh, from zero the ground to advise what should be done, what should be done, what not to, to be done. And he never left the community or me from that day until today when we are inaugurating this mikvah. In every detail, he has been constantly with us. So I thank you so much for the great effort. And despite of his extremely busy schedules, he just came from uh, Uganda recently and is preparing for the big community in Nairobi for Purim and uh, Pesach, but he still be able to find some time to come for this. So we feel so honored and uh, love and so much. Oh, I should say thank you very much. Thank you very much.